What is the expiation for the breaking of an oath? Okay. The expiation of breaking an oath was mentioned in Surah Al-Ma'idah where Allah Azza wa Jal says, فَكَفَّارَتُهُ إِطْعَامُ عَشَرَةِ مَسَاكِينَ مِنْ أَوْسَةِ مَا تُطْعِمُونَ أَهْلِيكُمْ أَوْ كِسْوَتُهُمْ أَوْ تَحْرِيرُ رَقَبًا Number one, if you say, Wallahi, I will not do this, or Wallahi, I will do this, and then you break your oath. Because an oath is something that you say for the future, not for the past. So if I say, Wallahi, I did not steal your pen, there is no kafara for this, if you're a liar. But it is only for things to come in the future. So if I say, Wallahi, I will not do this, and I do it, then I have to feed 10 poor people, Muslims, from whatever the, the middle food we eat usually. So some rice, some um, meat, some chicken, that would do. A, a, a decent meal for 10 people. If not, you can give them raw rice, approximately a kilo and a half of rice. <laughs> or clothing them. Or freeing a slave. You are, have the choice between these three. Whatever you choose is up to you. Financially, if you're unable to do any of the three, then you can fast as an alternative, three days. You can't fast three days when you have money. Only if you are unable financially to do the previously three uh, um, things mentioned, then you can go for um, fasting.